Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome to Sequence Breaking, the game, more commonly referred to as Super Metroid. This is uh, the third of the Metroid series, made in 1994, following like you know its previous two entries back in uh, 2001 and 1492. Get it? Okay, because it's out of sequence. <laughs> but more to the point, Metroid 3. <laughs> I never hear it anyway. I never hear anyone call it that. But yes, this will be my new Let's Play, should be short, this is going to be 100%, um, I'm going to be trying to do it as fast as I possibly can, I mean, as far as 100% in the game goes, uh, whoopsie, I always hate when games do that, when, <laughs> when one button is just like, go back, uh, let's clear some data, because I was totally unprepared for anything that I was planning on doing, whoopsie me. And we're going to be starting a new file, so, um, let's see, the Nihon Go sounds very enticing, but, um, I'll keep it in good old English. I'm also going to be changing around the, uh, controls a little bit. To be perfectly honest, like, it's a, it's kind of, um, it's a personal problem of mine. A lot, any, like, oh, wow. Super Nintendo game where they, like, expect you to, like, Fidelity. constantly be hitting three different buttons, I, I, it's it's a mess to control like this and this and uh and Met uh god <laughs> Mega Man X I just have like the biggest trouble like finding my way like for these fingers to position themselves that's why I use I, I remap the dash button to L whenever I play a uh, Super Metroid but anywho this is just exposition because you know we need our story in our Metroid games I mean <laughs> I, I, I guess no we don't but yes, uh, the Metroid series, this has never been something I've played on this channel before. I played Super Metroid on Boogaloo Commentaries. It was actually the only game I've done for like that channel, but not for this channel. And rather than keep the individuality of that, I decided to screw it and just let's play it here. Because like, you know, I wanted, I know I wanted to play a short game. But at the same time, I didn't like, you know, those, are, those are, short games are like platformers and things. And the thing about me and platformers is that I'm an extreme perfectionist like if I'm not doing like balls off the walls awesome I mean or at least decent like I'm, I'm gonna be like no I gotta practice this some more and as it turns out Super Metroid is the only one on the top of my head that I could play like decently well um, without extensive practice because I've played this game quite a lot it's my favorite uh, Metroid game I'm also a fan of the Prime series those are my second but this one this one's special it has some some, some it's a, it's outstanding because I should probably be paying attention to this exposition that's going on. And Metroids can be harnessed for the good of civilization. Uh, that's cool. I mean, usually just suck people's faces, but yeah, I, I guess you know their energy properties can do something. Back in this science fiction days. Uh, okay. <laughs> but he hardly gotten beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up the distress signal. Well, that's so that's sci-fi as fuck, man. Um, Sirius Station was under attack. Well, <laughs> back to work, Samus. So going on her ship. Look at all these Super Nintendo graphics. Oh God, I love it. I mean, when was the last time I played a Super Nintendo game? Was it Kirby's Dream Land 3 or Earthbound? Whatever, which one? one I did. Both of those I haven't done. I've done them like that was a while ago. Oh no, no, I, I, yeah, for this channel, yeah, no, it's been a while, damn, um, so yeah, back to the, you know, the Metroid-esque game, the-esque, <laughs> right, because this is Metroid-esque, it's not actually Metroid, guys, this is a ruse, but, uh, yeah, so, Metroid, look at all the ambiance, or lack thereof, you gotta, I don't know, personally, I'm, like, someone who's really uncomfortable, when, like, everything's, like, when I'm playing games that are all alone, with, like, no, like, uplifting music and stuff but I don't know maybe that's just why like one reason I actually like Metroid is simply because like you know it puts me out of my comfort zone almost sort of not really but there's the Metroid uh can we get it now no there's there's eyes so uh this is Ridley got I love this theme Ridley's theme is I'm also missing I love this theme so we're gonna fight Ridley or more accurately uh let Ridley kill us quickly uh, because this is actually an unwinnable boss fight, uh, if you shoot him enough, he'll actually drop the Metroid, and then he'll pick it back up and run away. Uh, but if you just, if you get your ass kicked, then the same result will happen. You'll fly towards the screen, look at all the things, and, you know, um, we're only like four minutes in, <laughs> in a Metroid game, and something's already about to explode. You know, this is gonna be a fun trip. Um, 
So that's Bale. Always love exploding Metroid thing. Actually, no. <laughs> Personally, that makes me so anxious. Like, whenever there's a time limit and you gotta get the hell away, like, oh my gosh, no, you gotta run. And these balls of steam, because these are totally balls of steam, are totally, are totally getting in my way. I will, I'll never get there in uh, 45 more seconds. It's just impossible. No, but uh, let's go up here. So, yeah, again, as I was saying, this will be 100%. Uh, I used to remember, like, where all of the items were by memory, but now I don't, and that might be problematic later down in the future. I'll definitely have to practice this game while less playing it, which is, you know, typically not the best of practices. But, I, I do know the first few parts, of, like, pretty well, so that shouldn't be too bad. So this is Planet ZB's Metro... <laughs> I just called Samus Metroid. I am one. I am. I am scum, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, this is her home planet, uh, where she grew up by bird people. <laughs> if you knew the lore, I could explain that at some time. There's like, gonna be a lot to say. Again, I did this for Boogaloo commentaries. You can go check it out there. But I never did my for myself. So I imagine the commentary to be wildly different. Uh, as in, I, I wouldn't know. But yeah, so. This is Metroid, as usual, or as, you know, I don't know. They they don't give us any direction whatsoever, and we just kind of explore our way through things. Which I like and don't like at the same time. I mean, like, I'm all for, like, telling people where to go so they don't get lost, but at the same time, like, exploration is also fun, so... I don't know. That's a common complaint with the newer games, where like, oh, they held your hand, like, bleh, who cares? I mean, obviously, obviously people who want the exploration experience that's not a word experience would probably want like you know less hand holding but it's not too bad of a thing I, I personally could get like I, I think it'd be cool if they'd find a good balance between them but my my thoughts and statements have absolutely nothing to do with anything that's going on like they I don't even have context to them I'm sort of like just talking my thoughts and talking my thoughts and hopefully you guys can understand what it is I'm saying but here you go, this is a blast of the past, this is like the first, like, this is modeled after like the very first few screens of the original Metroid game. And Spotlight, if you haven't noticed, there is absolutely no form of life anywhere here at all, and that's kind of ominous, right? Of course it is, because Metroid and their ominousity, I'm gonna be, be ma I'm gonna be making up so many words this playthrough, I swear. Uh, but, so, we're just gonna run around correct things again, <laughs> correct. <laughs> I know the route pretty well for now, but later on I get the feeling that I might get lost, so bear with me for any of that. Also think about this game, if you haven't noticed, I like to trick this game out, um, I'm like, I, I like doing the, the cool fancy things. The thing is, I'm not exactly perfect at that, meaning I might be wasting a lot of time just doing like unnecessary bullshit for the sake of like, you know, <laughs> be trying to look cool, and you know how that might, you know, you know how that's can be problematic that just uh that's uh it needlessly complicates things i've done it in almost every single one of my like a uh, one of my uh mario playthroughs again as i've stated before like when i play platformers like i play them i like it's a rush if i'm going slow in a platformer like i'm not it's not cool like auto scrolling segments and like platformers drive me up a wall Oh, and speaking of driving me up a wall, we'll see that. I'll, I'll explain something I've been doing in a second. Uh, I, I timed that horribly, but look! Crab people, life has returned to Zebes. Uh, not in a good way, though, I suppose. These are the Zebesians. Are they? No. Shit, are, they're space pirates, but like, are they really Zebesians? I mean, I thought you'd think the Zebesians would be bird people or something. Uh, but anywho, yes back to the driving up a wall thing this is wall jumping and probably what makes what makes me love this game as much as I do is um just this is a skill that's it's it's in the game but it, it is it is so incredibly exploitable that um you can just do some crazy stuff with it and I just that I just eat that stuff up I'm like the kind of person like like, you know, when, when there's, like, skillful things in games that aren't totally meant to be there, I can definitely tell you some of the things you can do with wall jumping aren't meant to, like, you know, you aren't meant to actually do. I don't remember. Is there anything important here? It's probably just a map room, in which case, no. Oh, 
No, yeah, this is definitely the map room. I don't know why I'm still going here, but you know what? I might as well download the map for the first time and then never again. Uh, I will... Even though this is going to be 100%, it's going to be 100% collection, which means I'm not, being, I'm not going to be getting all this stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be getting all this stuff, but I'm not going to be showing off everything. I'm not going to go to, like, every single room that's necessary. I'm just going to be getting all the missiles, all the collectibles you could possibly get in the game, and, you know, beating it, because that's <laughs> typically what you do. But what was I saying before? Something... Oh, God, I just told... That totally killed my train of thought. Uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anything like, anytime there's a game, and there's like, you know, exploits, I, I, I eat that stuff up. I'm totally up for it. Like, personally, like, it, it's, a, it's a commonly thing in Smash Bros. where they're like, you know, like, wave dashing, or like, the, 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 the fun little tech where it's like, you know, oh, you gotta do this, and people are like, no, that's, that's, no, like, it gives people who are bad at the game, it gives people who are good at the game an unfair edge, like, oh, suck it up, people. Like, you gotta learn, you, if you wanna keep up with the pack, you gotta learn the tricks. So wall jumping is fairly simple, um, I guess I can explain it here. First of all, I, you know what, I think what I'm gonna be doing is whenever there's a significant trick I do in a video, I'll, uh, I'll explain it at the very end of the video in a little side thing, I suppose. Oh, thank you for not dropping any form of missile, you lovely, lovely Chozo imitation you. Uh, at least he got two. Yeah, okay, is he dead? Well, he's headless now, so that's nice. Well, that was a boss, <laughs> if you if you didn't notice. The fun thing about bosses is, oh my gosh, now you give all the missiles. How about that? Oh, probably because I was full health and... Yeah, the way enemy drops work here, they're, they're very peculiar. Um, you play this game long enough and you sort of notice trends and whatnot. But yeah, I, again, I'll, I'll be explaining any like anything significant tricks during like the end of the video. But wall jumping is definitely something I'd recommend to any like... I, I'll obviously, when I first played this game, like I, I downloaded it for the virtual console as a little kid. Um, but I, I, like, I went out of my way as a little kid to learn how to wall jump because that it, that just makes this game so fun. Um, the things you can do and like, you know, the, the, it's just the exhilaration of like, not only learning this cool trick, but learning like, like significant applications to the cool trick. Just make things awesome. That was an energy tank, it uh, expands our maximum energy. I should be explaining these things. Missiles are powerful, you know, missile things. Uh, the the uh, significant thing about these missiles is that this is that this is pretty much like you know, <laughs> in Metro games, this is what uh boss fights amount to is how many missiles you have and how fast you can pump them into said boss. Uh, again, because we're gonna be getting all the missiles, we're probably gonna be having more than enough to just sail through this game. Uh, should you ever run out of missiles, then you have to rely on your Buster, your Buster, your charge, your your beam weapons. Which, uh, aren't as strong, but they're, they're, they're good in their own right. So here we are, now look, look, all the music. I do like this music though, it's, uh, this one has ambiance, or whatever it is, and I'm trying, oh, I totally botched that. Oh wait, did I? Yes, I did. Um, but anyways, I might as well get the thing in here. This is a missile pack. <laughs> it's not like I've gotten, like, two of these already. But this is Brinstar, I think we are in. We're in Brinstar. Everything's all green and there's life everywhere. So, you know, it's a step up from spoopy, uh, you know, uh, blank ambient things. I think I jumped too late there that time. Did I? No, I told you. Yeah, I didn't even jump at all. Okay, there we go. This was the mock ball. Now, <laughs> On, in the realm, of, if, you, if you remember me talking about how, like, you know, wall jumping is an ex exploit that was meant to be in the game that you can go do to do some cool stuff. Now, this is, this is different. This is, that, that was just a glitch. Um, a glitch that I usually don't have that much trouble on. I was, that was kind of, that was pathetic of me, actually. I'm horribly, horribly disappointed in myself. Uh, again, I'll be explaining how to do that one. That one, it's kind of easy once you know how to do it. Obviously, I was just, that was just me being uncool. But you gotta love Metroid games. Oh my gosh, you go in this room and there's an energy tank and you're like, yeah, cool, item. But, you know, because it's a Metroid game, they put items behind their items. 
And because it's also like, you know, a super Metroid, it's super a Metroid. They put items behind their items behind their items, and that's just cruel. This is the game that makes you develop trust issues with rooms. You're like, there's something in this room, man. I gotta check every single angle. Oh, and these are super missiles. These are five times more powerful than regular missiles, and they can open up green doors. Uh, we're not supposed to have these yet. At all. Uh, <laughs> this is what uh, this is where this, that the whole sequence breaking thing I was talking about comes in, because we did the mock ball glitch. We were able to get super missiles early, and that that creates a whole chain of events that that's just gonna eh, that's just gonna <laughs> um, pave the way for what you can expect me be doing in this game, and that's gonna be a good omen of how bad my language is gonna be. <laughs> but what 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 else is new here? Anywho, I think it's about time. Um, there's, I mean, not about time. It's not, uh, there's a save point coming up, so I'll just go here and then, yeah. Okay, cool. So again, save points are, you know, they save your point, <laughs> whatnot. I'll typically only be using them, like you know, if I have to end a recording off, like right now. So, uh, yes, this was the very first part in Super Metroid, and the next part we will be going on and getting more stuff and breaking more sequence. Next time on Let's Play Super Metroid. Until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!